Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another quick video. So I'm here with a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit the lock screen and also add shortcuts to widgets. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the settings and then scroll down to where it says lock screen and then just select this option here so you can choose useful info to show when you tap the clock on the lock screen okay so by default fresh out the box the music player is enabled and also the next alarm so let's have a look so when you tap the clock on the lock screen there we have the music player and the next alarm widgets on there so that's by default fresh out of a box those two are enabled so if you want to add the weather widget today's schedule widget voice recorder digital well-being modes and routines and also show the always on display mode you can add all of these onto the lock screen when you tap on the clock so as you can see now all those widgets are now on there okay another thing is when you long press on the lock screen here, you can now edit the lock screen. So from here, you can change the wallpapers. Or you can use any one of your gallery pictures. So just choose the one you want. And then hit done. And then if you want to continue with the edit, just long press on the screen again. And you can adjust the size of the digital clock there and the date you can also change the clock style and the color And what I love about it, there's always a wide variety of different colors you can choose from. And you can even create one of your own colors. Or you can use the color adapted from the wallpaper. You can also add contact information. Hit done. So now my name is on there. You can also put your address and your telephone number. And then here, if you select this option here, it brings up some more options down here. So you can lock screen, you can lock screen notifications. You can turn it off 
So you can turn off the lock screen notifications. You can have icon only, or you can have details. And there's a little slider bar here where you can adjust the transparency. And you can also enable auto reverse text color. This is on by default, but you can turn it off or keep it on. So when you turn it off, the text will be black. When you turn it on, the text will be white. Also, when you tap on the clock, you can change the text style. So there's a few different text styles off the clock that you can choose from. And once again, you can change the color. And then, down here, you've got the dialer and the camera. If you select it, you can change it to something else. So you can change the dialer to Google Chrome or any other application. So if you want quick access to maybe Call of Duty, you could just add Call of Duty there. Same with the camera. You can change it to something else. So if you want quick access to, let's say, Fortnite, you can have Call of Duty on the lock screen and Fortnite. You can have both shortcuts to the games added to the lock screen. Then just go ahead and select Done. And then you just launch Fortnite by swiping. For a second I thought you could just press it and it would launch, but you have to swipe. So let's try COD Mobile, same thing, just swipe and it will launch the game. So yeah guys, this was just my video showing you how to edit the lock screen and also um, add widgets to the lock screen as well. Hope this video helped you out. It's your boy the Android Doctor. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, share the video and I'm out. See you in the next one guys. Deuces.